I was coaching a golfer the other day online and he had real issues with his arm movement matching up with his body movement. And what I was noticing, he was getting a lot of what I call elbow separation in the backswing and also in the follow through. So described as chicken wing that we see, but ultimately a real loss of structure in the way that he was moving his arms. So what I did is I explained to him a really simple thing that you can do at setup that helps stabilize the arms throughout the golf swing and create much more reliable golf shots. So the way I did this is I explained more about the elbows and how they're designed to move as a human being, not necessarily as a golfer. Now ideally your elbows are just a hinge joint, they just fold this way. Anything else is really happening from shoulder. So when if your elbows are in the right place at address, it helps stabilize them throughout the whole swing. So the easy way to do this is if you stand up nice and tall, turn your palms out, your elbows will now point towards your hip. And from this position now, we just make your natural golf grip. So I'm not locking in tight and I'm not tightening my arms up. I'm still keeping them relaxed, but I'm actually pre-setting them so that when throughout the golf swing, they move correctly. So if I now fold my right arm, it's now folding correctly and supporting the golf club, rather than if your elbows are turned out at address, so they look a bit this way, your elbows are now, when you bend them, they're gonna fold this way. So in the back swing, we can have this awful separation that we get they call it a flying right elbow in the backswing, and then what we would call a chicken wing here in the follow through. And we can see how we've lost the structure and consistency of the arms. So it's really important not to hold the golf club tight, but simply turn your arms in, turn your elbows in so they're actually pointing towards your hip, then turn your hands into your normal golf grip. And then what we're looking to do now, as we start to make the backswing, we're just turning first, and what, you'll sh what you should be able to see here now is my arms are nice and long rather than if my elbows are turned out, we end up with the hands very close to the body and this is losing width to your golf swing and it also makes timing of the, of the strike really difficult. So we preset the elbows in a great position into your natural golf grip. And from here, as we're turning now, I actually feel much more stability in my shoulders. So as I'm turning my body, remember we wanna turn the club away, we don't take the club away, we turn the body. But because I, my arms are in a great position, when I do cock my wrist and my elbow, my right elbow folds correctly, I'm now underneath the golf club supporting it. So if I let my elbows turn out as a dress, so they look a little bit this way, straight away, I've got shoulder rotation going on here. My elbows are now bending the way they're designed, but unfortunately that's taking the golf club way offline, way to the inside. And then from here, because we're too much on the inside, we'll come over the, over the top with the shoulders. So it's really simple to do incredibly effective. Initially when you do it you might feel a bit tight but with a bit of practice that will disappear but what we've gained now is a lot of length in the arms and if we've got width to the golf swing that helps with timing, it helps with leverage and ultimately it's going to help with distance. So you will gain distance doing this one if you've had this issue of the elbows separating and the club getting very close to your body in the back swing or even worse in the follow through. So it looks this way. The way I would practice it, if I was you, is to start off with some half swing. So we've preset the elbows good, we're turning to hip height, and then from here we just turn through to hip height. So my whole body is moving very efficiently, but what I've not done now is I've not got my arms and club working independent of my body. The whole thing feels much more as a connection, as one, I would call it. So we start to coordinate the arms. So this is going to give you far more reliability and consistency rather than having to manipulate the golf club back to square as we see so many golfers do. So start off turning hip height to hip height, hit a few shots that way. Once you're happy with that, then we can just introduce the, the cocking of the wrist. So we're just having this lovely 90 degree angle between arm and golf club, but my arm is still relaxed. But if it bends, it's gonna bend correctly 
So we, remember, we don't need to keep this straight because that will cause some other issues in the golf swing. So it's still comfortable, but it is long and the club's at 90 degrees. We then have to uncock the wrist so we're not manipulating the golf club. So if my club's behind here, I have to manipulate it back to square, which is never going to be consistent. So we're turning, cocking the wrist this way. It stabilizes everything, release the golf club, and then through here, this looks the same, but look how the body's matching up. My body's turning, I'm facing my target, but my club is still comfortably out in front of you. And because my elbow's in a good position, now it can just fold. So if I turn this face on here, my elbow just folds and I'm back supporting the golf club again. So what I'm not getting is this issue of my elbow separating, but that happens as a result of the elbows already separated at a dress. So start off half swing, three quarter and then just build it up to a full swing but the sensation you'll get is that the club is staying on plane and on path much more consistently throughout the golf swing rather than the elbow separating and getting the club it's actually you get forearm rotation shoulder rotation and that starts to take the club all over the place when the club is not in a desired position you're going to have to manipulate it to try and hit good shots on the range, you'll hit a few good ones and then you'll lose it when it gets back on the golf course, what we call find it, lose it. So if you work on this stability, it's going to pay dividends in your golf swing. I hope you found this simple setup really helpful, but if you do want to take your game to another level, you want to do it in a structured way, sign up to propergolfing.com. There's loads of videos in there that will really help you understand what you need to be doing with all the golf clubs in your bag, but more importantly, you're going to get monthly coaching sessions with myself, as well as an invite to a members meeting that we have every week, where we talk about all things golf and we have some special guests on there as well. So if you do want to take your game to another, another level, get signed up to propergolfing.com. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.